Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're looking at chapter 7 of the book of Revelation. We saw in chapter 6, the six seals opened by the Lamb of God. The first seal, of course, was the white horse. The second seal was the red horse. The third seal, the black horse. And the fourth seal was the pale horse. And then we saw the souls of the saints who were martyred in the tribulation under the altar when the fifth seal was open. And then the sixth seal was open and there was a great earthquake. And then chaos began to take place on planet earth. Then when you come to chapter seven, it's like a parenthesis, a parenthesis. And here we find out what happens between the six sixth and the seventh seal because we don't read about the seventh seal until we get to Revelations chapter 8. Now here in this chapter we're told about the 144,000 Jews. Twice in chapter 7 we read the phrase, after these things I saw. That's verse 1. And then also in verse 9, after these things I looked and behold a great multitude. So we see first in the first part of the chapter, 144,000 Jews being sealed while the one angel, there's five angels here, but the four angels will hurt him back the four winds of the earth that would hurt the earth and the sea. And of course, we believe that's the judgments that are about to be poured out, but before they're poured out, so we're going kind of in a parenthesis to the first part of the tribulation, and he sees this angel ascending to the earth, and he seals, having the seal of God, and he seals the number of, uh, we believe, 144,000 Jews. And that's what he says, 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. Now, this uh, sealing, we believe, you have to understand, a seal in the scripture signifies ownership and protection. Now today, the Bible teaches us in Ephesians chapter 1 that we as believers are sealed by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit seals us. This is God's guarantee that we are saved and safe and that one day He will take us to heaven. The 144,000 Jews will receive the Father's seal his name, it says here in verse uh, chapter 14, verse 1, is their seal, contrast to the mark of the beast, that the Antichrist will give those who will follow him. And so this seal will protect these so chosen Jews from the judgments that will hurt the earth and the sea, Revelation 7, 2, that we just talked about. And they... Occur, that occurs, of course, when these four angels uh, we find in chapter 8 begin to sound the, their trumpets, the seven trumpets. And that's the judgments that become to be intensified when the horrible locusts are released from the pit in Revelations chapter 9. So we see these horrible judgments taking place, but the 144,000 are protected. Now, we believe these 144,000 are the faithful remnant. Now, God's always had a faithful remnant. Remember, Elijah thought he was the only one that was worshiping God and stood for the truth. But God reminded him that there were 7,000 who were still faithful to him who had not bowed their knee to Baal. And so these 144,000, actually, we believe this number is a significance because 144, of course, is 12 times 12, 144 in the Old Testament. You had the 12 tribes. In the New Testament, you have the 12 apostles. And this signifies perfection and completeness. And so we see the completeness of God's people. And so this is a great... Application of this passage, and we know that these 144,000 are all Jews because the tribes that they come from are named. Now, interesting today, the genealogies have been lost, and a Jew probably couldn't tell you, and no doubt if he did, he's not going to be sure because he doesn't have the records of the genealogies. But my friend, that doesn't matter. In the tribulation, when this takes place, God knows every Jew and every tribe that that Jew is from. And so then you see the names of these different uh, tribes that they come from as they are sealed and set apart. Now, we believe these 144,000, and I'll talk about that 
Tet Tamara get saved at the very beginning of the tribulation and are sealed, and they become great evangelists sharing the gospel. And that'll be a good uh, chat for tomorrow. So God bless you, and thank you for being a part of Pastor's Chat today. And I trust you'll continue to study the Word with us and be looking up. Jesus is coming soon.